Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Engage. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're finishing, uh, we just finished up Chapter 4. We're about to head on to the next area. Got some bond fragments and stuff like that, which uh, I'm sure we'll find a use for soon. Hey folks, mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Dirt. I'm an armor. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. Hey, we found our merchants for back at uh, our base. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. <clears throat> that will Divine be one. very useful. What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. Uh, you're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. You got yourself a bargain. Uh, can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. That will be very, very useful. And we just got 10,000 in funds. Okay. Awesome. Little influx of cash. Good stuff. So, use the world map to select a destination or move to the next chapter. Continue the story. Aha. Uh -huh. Manage your inventory or return to the Somnial using the menu. So, we should be able to go back. Can we also just save from here? We totally can. So let's actually do that, and then let's return to the Somnial, our home base. Check out and see what the new merchants have in stock to sell us. Oh, and we just got uh, expansion pass bonuses, which are a whole bunch of stat boosting items. So that's pretty good. And we got uh, training, we got a bunch of different stuff, can now manage skills. Select manage skills from the inventory to see uh, huh, Yep. Allies can inherit skills from the emblems. Okay. Gotcha. So there's all sorts of goodies here. Uh, first things first, let's pop over here and talk with the merchants. See what they have to sell. So, about the armor. Buy or sell weapons. Yep. What do you got? So, let's just say I was interested in buying... Um, what do you got? You do sell javelins. Only has one javelin for sale. But, I think it would make sense to put that on... Uh, I think it would make sense to give Alfred a javelin for sure. Here you go. So, let's do that. And then, uh, what else do... Is there anything else? A hand axe is also the other thing for sale that's a limited item. So let's give that to Boucheron. Here you go. Just give them a little bit of ranged capability. And is there anything else here that we really particularly want? We've got Initiate Art. Lowers our speed, but does increase damage, so we could actually potentially do... Oh, and dodge significantly as well. Um, honestly, let's buy this on her. Here you go. Um, and the rest of this, I think we're probably okay for the time being. Take care. So that's what you sell, and then I imagine you will sell other things. Vulneries, healing staffs, stuff like that. Now about the shop. So, where is our healer? Fram, here we go. Illum. Okay, illuminate stuff. Ah, uh, yes, torches. Uh, can I just buy directly from the con to, for the convoy? Yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna buy like I thank you. a torch. Oh, I could literally only buy one torch. Okay. 
And then these tonics give us a temporary boost just for the battle. That's kind of useful, I could see. Pure water makes us resistant to magic. Antitoxin recovers 15 HP. That's also fairly useful. Let's just I buy that. I buy this. Uh, the Illume? Yeah, I guess, uh, sure. We'll buy it and give it to Fram. I thank you. It's good enough for now. Do come again. So we've got a couple of items there that we purchased. Uh, and then we should also be able to save here as well. Right? Cool. All right. I'm going to uh, explore this place a little bit. I'll let you know if I find anything cool. I'm also going to take a short supper break. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. All right. Let's go around and talk to some of these people. See if maybe we can get something useful information-wise, uh, support conversations, anything like that out of them. Looks like we do have a support here with Clan. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm going to have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. Seems like our my stewards are all about uh, <laughs> being helpful. Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. Alright, so we've increased our support level with Clan, which is good. Looks like we have a few items over here to grab. I still don't know what these are actually going to be used for. Maybe we'll be able to cook food or something at some point, or maybe give them as gifts. Looks like we got uh, a nut. More nuts. And then it looks like down here there's some stuff going on. There's like a little garden with a couple people to talk to. Apples? Okay, we're getting... Yeah, so we're getting all sorts of... Oh, grapes. That doesn't look like a grapevine to me, but hey, what do I know? Now, the question is, is this a fishing hole? Can I fish here? I don't honestly know. There's nothing on the map suggesting that I can, like, go into one of these doors, but I am a little curious. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe this will be something we can mess around with later if there's, like, fishing in the game or anything like that, but for now, it doesn't do anything for us. Looks like we do have, like, a little cave over here. Ooh, complete with a cutscene, it looks like. What's this all about? The air in the grotto is suffused with a mysterious aura. Okay, what's going on with this? We got some bond fragments. Even more bond fragments. What happens if I talk to you? Oh my. What in the world is this creature? Ah. So you have found it at last. Vander, what do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. It's kind of cute. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. She did? So this creature has been alive for a very long time. A very, very long time if it was uh, Queen Lumera's friend when she was little. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? If it is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel, doing so may bring some manner of benefit. That sounds like a good idea. What a great idea. Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. I'll call you... Uh, we'll just, yeah, sure, we'll name it Sami. We'll just go with default names, that's fine. Yes, I like that name. It's nice to meet you. 
I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around. So the question is, what does it actually do? Here we go. Sami, this uh, the enigmatic Sami has watched over this land for untold ages. If you take good care, something wonderful might happen. Oh, I see. So we can pet it, feed it, etc. And I'm guessing that when we bring its affection up high enough, can I just keep petting it? and increasing affection over and over again. There's a little bar in the lower right. That doesn't appear to do anything. Uh, so I pet it a few times. Uh, oh, there we go. It did a thing. Oh, okay. So I pet it three times and it gave me some bond fragments. What if I feed it? Let's give it some nuts, I guess. Since we have the most of those. Okay. That also increased its uh, affection a wee bit. And we got some more bond fragments. Okay, cool. So I don't know if we can, uh, how many times I can pet this to get the benefit, but I'm guessing it's probably like you can only increase the benefits once per mission would be my guess. So we'll leave it alone for now. Maybe I'll go back there at some point and just pet it over and over and over again off camera and see if anything changes. I do also want to check out the barn over here because we got a dog and a goat as pets. So let's grab this item real quick. We got some milk. And if I pop in here, okay, grazing, the sheep and the dog. So now they should be out here. Can I pet the dog? Looks like uh, I can't actually pet the dog. I can just like observe it. Okay. What about the sheep? Can I, I'm guessing I, same deal. I can hit A to do an action, but it just baws. Yeah. No, uh, no option to pet it or anything like that. So I don't know what the purpose of the pets is other than to just, like, look pretty. But still, that's still something. Uh, I do definitely want to go up this way, though, and check out training. That's something we're going to be doing uh, between every mission as much as we possibly can, because training is obviously quite useful. Ooh, horse manure. I'm sure that'll be a great present. What better way to express your friendship and love for someone than giving them a giant box of poop? <laughs> Strength training is now available. Okay. So if I talk with ah. you, come to do some strength training. <laughs> yes. I'll get Prince Alfred. If I'm not back in a few minutes, send someone to find me. Okay. In strength training, you can choose from three different exercises to get temporary boosts to Alir's stats. Each exercise plays differently and affects a different stat. Try, to top, try for top scores in all of them. You'll unlock more difficulties for each exercise as you progress through the story. Okay, so this will give me like a temporary boost to my strength, it looks like. So use good timing to stop the bar at the right position. Mash the button to fill the gauge. And move both sticks in rhythm. Okay, so I think strength would be what we want to boost on Alir because that's more damage and more damage is always useful. Push-ups are about timing. Stop the bar at the perfect position. Right when it speeds up, it ends if you miss three times. Do the, spe the specified number of push-ups to complete the activity. The bar will get faster over time, so stay focused. Aim to get fit. So How let's let's give go? this a try. We'll just go on normal. Uh, want a training party? Uh, sure, we'll train with Sami. So we just go nice. down. I get it. Keep it up. So we're trying to hit A when it's in the nice. the bottom yellow, I think. Keep it up. We got to do 20 push-ups. Nice. That's not that many push-ups to be honest. Hang in there. Ooh, that was bad. Keep it up. The timing is definitely a little uh funky, nice. but that's okay. Perfect. Looking good. Perfect. Perfect is good. Keep it up. I think I got the hang of it though. Nice. 
So yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those mini games that I do not do Hang in there. on camera every time. Keep it up. But we'll do it together just this once. Hopefully I can get Perfect. 20. There we go. We got our 20. So that should give us a strength boost. Uh, let's see. Strength will be plus one in the next battle. And we got some bond fragments as well. Okay, cool. Uh, you won't get any further bonuses or rewards, but do I want to continue strength training? Let's no, I am I am good with uh, not doing any more strength training. Can we do like training training or is that not a thing? Doesn't look like there's any other training partners over here to like increase our experience at all. So maybe we'll unlock that in the future. Let's check out the bulletin board here as well. We do have some money, so we could donate uh, 5,000 to Farine. Uh, I think that's maybe worth, do I mean, what are we at? How much? We have 9,000 gold at the moment. Sure. We will donate 5,000 to bring this up. And we just got a whole bunch of stuff as a result. Skirmish. Uh, okay. So we can do skirmishes as well. Um, will this... Let's look at achievements real quick. Um, claim all. Got 400 and... I mean, we're up to a fair amount of bond fragments. But we still don't actually know what they're used for. <laughs> so there is that. Oh, that goes to the arena. Okay. And this one, does this also go to the arena? That goes to the ring chamber. So let's check out the ring chamber first. Maybe this is where we use bond fragments to, like, upgrade our rings and stuff? Let's just see. Central pedestal. The ring chamber is a space to interact with emblems and their rings. You can inherit skills from emblems here. Using bond fragments, you can create bond rings or combine and strengthen existing ones. You can also deepen bonds with emblems by polishing the tarnish of combat off their rings. Okay, so if we polish like the like this, will this actually do anything? Bond five. Does this we'll cost bond more. fragments? Oh, I have to actually like. I see. You're very. You're quite skilled. Oh, but I don't actually have the to polish specific amazing. spots. I just polish it. So there we go. It is now all polished. I don't think this actually costs us bond fragments, though. So we'll have Celine do Celica. Also, uh, I, I think I said last episode that Celica was from a game that was only released in Japan. That was not correct. Celica was uh, I hope from... Like the one Fire Emblem game erased in America that I haven't played. I forget what it's that called off the top so of my head. Better. But there's the Thank one that came you. out after, or I think after Conquest. Uh, it was like, I just haven't played it. All right. Uh, I don't know if this actually does anything, but. Handle that gently. <laughs> I appreciate your upkeep of the ring. Okay. That increased bond. That's good. So now, inheriting skills. Allies can inherit certain skills from emblems, emblems using inherit skills. Inheriting skills requires a certain bond level as well as skill points. Earn skill points by battling with synced emblems and equipping bond rings. Equipped inherited skills using the inventory menu, and you can't benefit from the, the same skill twice. So, if we try to inherit I mean so basically this is a way that we can pick and choose skills that would be quite good for us so like break defenses sword agility I mean honestly avoid plus 10 is just strictly better than sword of agility because it doesn't have a downside it just gives you 10 avoid but we can't uh, we can't inherit or actually wait a minute So do we need, let me look and see what, um, 
Uh, let's see. How do we get to the inventory? Inventory. Here we go. So if we look at you, manage skills. Okay. So in order to get these two skills here, we actually need to inherit them. It looks like they're not actually active. I think, unless we inherit them. Like, even if I have the, the ring equipped. So in order to get the plus 20 dodge chance, I believe we'd have to inherit both of those two skills. The avoid plus 10 and uh, the other one as well. At least I, I think that's how it works. And it looks like the uh, the inheriting of skills is done with a different resource than Bond Fragments. It looks like it's done with SP. So let's just go for Avoid plus 10, I think. And we'll see if that automatically equipped in a minute, but let's also go ahead and create Bond Rings. Bond Rings increase stats and allow units to earn SP, though they do not do so to the same extent that emblem rings do. So, uh, let's have Marth create, uh, I mean, I got a lot of bond fragments, so let's just create 10 bond rings. And I believe these will give us bond rings for characters from, like, Marth's game, for example. Yeah, so, like, Tiki... Chris... We can skip to this. Merrick. Tiki B. Okay. Ogma. Merrick again. More Ogmas. And I noticed that these are like bronze and silver. So let's just see. Uh, if we go meld bond rings, we do have two augmas. So, okay, so I see. So you can take two silvers or two bronze and turn them into a silver. And then I'm assuming you can take two... Oh, I see. You need bond fragments to merge them as well, though. You can't just... Uh, it, so you have to... You need the rings and you need bond fragments. Gotcha. But then that would allow... You can take... Uh, three silver ones and turn them into a gold. So two bronze to turn into a silver, three silver to turn into a gold, and then you also have to pay for bond fragments as well. Oh, and there's actually a platinum level as well, which requires four gold rings. Yeah, so basically there's a lot of um, stuff going on here. But that means that we should be able to equip those rings onto relevant people, which will be quite useful. So, like, for example, um, Louis, we could... Can we just go manage items? Looks like it's not rings. Um, where do I actually equip... Oh, here we go. Emblem rings, I'm assuming. So, like, for example, if we wanted Chloe to have more strength... We could give her, like, an Ogma ring or uh, something along those lines. Or a Legion ring. Strength and speed could be good. This one would give strength and dex. I mean, Chloe already has very high dex, so I think we'd probably go strength and speed here to hopefully try and get her to the point where she can double. So that seems like a good plan to me. Yeah, let's give her Legion's Ring. And I'll just go through these and get these all equipped. Okay, so I think I've got them all equipped here. Uh, we're getting some benefits out of everything. I think what I may want to do is just unlock more Bond Rings. Um, maybe from, I don't know, Celica's Rings this time, but uh, we can only do one at a time. So I think what I'll probably do for now is just hold off and try to do 10 at a time. That seems like a good idea. Um, so now let's go head out and uh, let's go and check out the arena.
Okay, arena time. Oh, it is locked for now. So, no arena. That's fine. I guess at this point, it is probably time to move on to the next chapter. So let's go ahead and save. And uh, back to the world map. I think we've got everything, you know, mostly sorted out as best we can, inventory-wise, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, one thing I should do, though, is on Fram... I think I want her to have the initiate art. What is yeah, let's uh let's equip that. That gives her a 35% dodge chance, which seems reasonably good. Let's just see here. Determines the odds of Oh, that's only avoiding a critical hit though. So actual avoid. So dodge actually is not something we particularly care about. So, just kidding. We actually want to have the iron body art equipped because it's higher avoid chance. But either way, let's head to the next chapter. And I believe we should be good. Review materials and gifts. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and begin the chapter. There's the castle. It's so quiet. Where are our knights? Or the Illusion soldiers, for that matter? You said they were marching toward the castle when you left. They've probably made their way inside. But then, what of the townsfolk? What of Mother? Let's hurry. Okay, well that's probably not good. Hate to break it to you, Queenie, but our forces have taken the castle. This is the part where you tell me where you've got the ring stashed in here. Who's to say? Is it inside the castle? Out on the grounds? I'm asking all polite like. Come on! <laughs> I'm not in the habit of speaking to lowly vermin. That's all that you are, the lot of you. The mouth on this one. You think I won't get you where you stand? <laughs> I'd recommend against it, darling. Lady Zephyr! After all, Her Majesty can't tell us much of value if she's dead. I'm assuming she's a bad guy. I'm bearing news. One of our soldiers said he spotted the princess fleeing before we arrived. How curious. Did you perhaps give that daughter of yours the ring for safekeeping? <laughs> oh, well, isn't this tragic? We'd simply hate to resort to violence. You leave us no choice. By virtue of your silence, we will now kill every living soul in this castle one by one. Oh yeah, she's definitely evil. <gasps> Please, no! It's okay, we'll come and save the day. Hopefully save all the uh, civilians, keep them from dying. It'll be all Mother! Right. Mother, we're here! Alfred, Saline. Oh, look, the kids are home. You illusion scum! Get away from her! <laughs> Who's going to make us? I'm glad you've come. Now we can see for ourselves if the princess has the ring. No, please! Leave my children alone. Of course, as long as you tell me where the ring is. I... Ah, young Saline does have it, doesn't she? We'll have to kill her then. The prince too, for good measure. Take her majesty away. We'll continue our conversation later if need be. <laughs> Unhand me! Okay. So, Mother! save the queen. Let her go! Kill the bad guy. All right, enough with the dramatics. Seems fairly straightforward. Huh? You. 
You look familiar. I will also note that Zephia here also seems to have kind of a red and blue theme going on, much like Alir does. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if there's a connection there of some sort. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. Who are you? I am the Divine Dragon. Such lies. Lumera is the last of her kind. Shows what you know. The Divine One was asleep for a thousand years. Really? When did that beastly woman have a child? <laughs> Very well. Perhaps you can tell me what happened to dear Lumera then. I've been so worried about her since that awful battle at Letho's castle. How do you know about that? How indeed. You stole the rings? You killed my mother? She died? Oh, that poor dear. I'm guessing she didn't do it, but she was, you know, aware of it. She seems a little too tall to be the one that uh, killed Queen Lumera. <laughs> Murderer. I will avenge her. Why, I didn't kill her. I will say your coming here was quite helpful. Assuming you are the beast's offspring, because that means you have them, don't you? The rings of the Hero King and the Holy Knight. You'll never take them. Never. You were after our ring. I won't waste my breath on explanations, but I will tell you this. The Kingdom of Illusia has freed Lord Zombron from his imprisonment. The Fell Dragon has returned? No. Of course, even we couldn't have accounted for... you. His return must have awoken you. Show a little gratitude. You're wrong. I awoke because of my mother. Because she waited for me. All these years. A touching tale, I'm sure. I mean, it could be a little of column A, a little of column B. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait! What can we do? To start, we defeat these soldiers and take back the castle. I'm not going to let them hurt Queen Ev or anyone else. Get the rings. No prisoners. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay. Uh, let's take a look and see what we are dealing with here. Um... Let's look at unit selection. Looks like we are allowed to bring everyone, which is good. So let's look at swap spaces. That way we can kind of examine them out. So let's see. We've got uh, these things up here. These are from online play, it looks like. So this will be stuff that we can grab for tiny little boosts, extra items, etc. A couple more here. Looks like we do have a door that can be broken down. We have a soldier over here that will drop a vulnery. We do have a couple of chests up here, which makes me think that we're probably going to get a thief character on this map. Uh, which is essentially a character that's able to open doors, unlock chests, etc. So we're going to have to, if you want to get both of these chests, which we 100% do, uh, and this is destructible as well. I think we're going to want to push up to the chests first. That seems to be the sensible play, because we want to make sure we pick those up. Looks like we've got a lot of spearmen, a couple of axe users. I'm not seeing a lot of, like, super heavily armored knights. Like, we got one here. Any more? One here. So, like, two heavy dudes, but that's about it. They will be, they will have reinforcements coming in at some point, I'm sure. Either from here, or uh, these staircases will probably spawn reinforcements as well. But I think the plan is to push this way and fight our way up to the chest and make that the priority, so we can get um, make sure we you know get those. And then once we get the chests, we'll bust through this wall and clear out the rest of these guys. I think that is the plan. So. Uh, let's swap some units around. Um, 
I think we want Alfred and Sigurd to be kind of up here. Uh, you can be all the way in the back, the healer. You're not going to do much. I mean, we're, we're going to want to clear out all of these enemies. So we'll probably send a, a, a small group up here first to deal with these guys. And then they'll kind of meet with the other group over here. So up here, we know we have a knight. So we're going to want a mage. Um, are you actually, you're already in range of the knight. So you're good. I wish I could swap uh, a Lear. I wish I could swap his space with someone else, but it's probably okay. Uh, let's do this. That should be fine. Yeah, this looks like a reasonable setup. We shouldn't have to do anything uh, as far as inventory stuff. So let's go ahead and save this just in case, and then we'll get ready to do this. Okay, after making some final preparations, I think we are good to go. Let's give this a try. So we got the door there that we can break down. The door's locked. There's no time to... And now we just got to start taking people out. So, first things first. Um, I think what Whatever we want to do... You can't reach anybody. That's not helpful. Okay, you could come up here and chuck a javelin at this guy. It's not a lot of damage, but it is something. And then we could bring Celica up to hopefully finish them off with fire. There we go. All flowers eventually wilt. Levels uh, Selene and Celica up. A pretty good level up all, uh, all around. Wish we'd gotten uh, another point of magic, but that's okay. It's a, honestly a very good level up. I can't complain. Um, next, we need to take out this bow person here. So we could use Vander. Unfortunately, Alir's just in a terrible spot to do anything useful whatsoever. Yes. So, yeah, I think we're going to bring you up and just smack you with an iron axe. Like so. And then we'll bring Boucheron up and hopefully finish him. Missed. That's unfortunate. A very unfortunate miss. Uh, okay, it's fine. So you, For you come over anything. here, and let's just go for a lance attack on you. Alfred's probably gonna get beat up a little bit, but he'll be okay. Y you'll you'll be fine for the moment. Um, All right. let's bring you over as well. If they want to beat up on a Leer or try to, they are certainly welcome to. I just realized that I forgot to equip that avoid skill. That was dumb of me. Okay. It's fine. Bring you to here. Whatever you say. Bring you up. Uh, you can't really do anything. You can't really do anything. Let's actually put you here, though, so you That's might draw team. an attack away from some of the others. And let's see if maybe we can spread the damage out a little bit. <laughs> the cat Thieves? Here? Now? That's the last thing we need. So we need to stop the thief from getting all the treasure from us. Or which is unfortunate because he has a pretty significant head start. Ow. That hurt. We'll heal Boucheron uh, with uh, Fram next turn, probably. Okay, Vander's going to get beat up a little bit, but he can take it. It'll be okay. All right. So not bad. 
These guys are nice and spread out, which is exactly what you like to see. He attacks twice. Holy cow. Uh, Etia is really slow, apparently. I mean, I get the, the sword units are generally pretty quick, but like still. My guys are all getting doubled because we're slow. Which is not ideal. Uh, okay, so first things first. You come up here. And actually, can I take you out with somebody else who maybe can't make an attack against anybody else? Not really. We could bring you... No, that won't do anything. We could get up here and get some damage on the thief if I engage with Alfred and go charging up to catch him. Like, that would potentially be an option. Although not necessarily a great one. We wouldn't be enough... It probably wouldn't be enough to kill the thief, which is unfortunate. Uh, would you be able to chuck a lance at this guy and kill him? No. Man, we got a couple of people here who really badly need healing. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we're going to bring you up to here. And we're going to go ahead and engage. Emblem, engage. Because we need to take these guys out. So if we go for a Lodestar rush on this guy, that'll just straight up kill him. My prayers are with you. That removes an enemy from the equation. And axe enemies, they hit pretty hard. So I think that's worth doing. Dream well. Okay, so that takes care of you. Uh, you could come up here and finish this one off relatively safely. You'll be kind of be hiding behind everybody else. Which means that Louie could get to here and chuck a javelin at this sword guy to soften him up a bit. Which is good. This is nothing. And that means that you could come up here and finish this sword person off. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we need to kill this sword person. And you're not going to be able to do it. Could Celica do it? Celica has enough magic to take you out. So that's probably the route we want to go there. Uh, we don't need to engage, though. Let's just... <laughs> do that. I will not forget your loss. I keep calling that person Celica, but it's Celine. Celica is the the uh, engage partner of the ring. Okay. You definitely need to do some healing, and I think we're going to heal Boucheron simply because Etia is kind of hiding behind the, the rest of the front lines anyway. That's a very good level up from Fram. Happy to see it. So now we need to take out you. Um, and we got a couple ways we can do this. You, unfortunately, don't have enough firepower to take this person out. And I don't think you can take out... What if we engage? Could I kill the, uh, the archer if I engage? I mean, it shouldn't really matter that much. Like, we can do decent damage there. Yeah, you can finish this guy off if I engage and make a Rider's Bane attack. So we'll do that. And then you can charge over here, which should hopefully keep the archer from being able to do too much. So that should be okay. Uh, unfortunately, he can still reach this spot, which means he could shoot at Fram. But if we move you to here, chuck a hand axe. Here. Oh. Then hopefully you can come over here and 
finish him off? Not quite. Not from that angle, anyway. So why is it that here we'd be able to do it, but here we wouldn't? Maybe I have to be... Hmm. I mean, one archer shouldn't be able to kill Fram in a single turn. Or a clan. So let's let's just do this. Need some help? Did you see that? Especially since clan, act clan actually has, like, fairly okay speed. So hopefully we'll be all right. We can charge you over here. And then we'll have cleared out pretty much all of these enemies except for the thief. Yeah, I figured they were going to shoot for clan. But thankfully he shouldn't be fast enough to attack me twice. So it should be okay. All right, there we go. That takes care of you. We'll bring you over. And finish you off with uh, Selene. All flowers eventually wilt. That takes care of you. You come over here and heal up. Fram. That helps. So that takes care of that. You are just gonna pop up to. Okay. Yeah, no, you'll you'll be safe here. We'll just wait there. Get some bond fragments. You pop up here. You've got your javelin equipped, so we'll just wait there. Uh, are there archers over here? There is one. So we're gonna have to be careful with Chloe, but she'll be okay at least for the moment. This does absolutely nothing to this guy. <laughs> Man, it's a little rough. It's a little rough for sure, but it's okay. We need our magic users up there is the thing. Like, you can come up here and you can attack this guy and it'll do some damage, but not that much. Um, oh, this would hit all of them. Yo, that's incredible. We're going to do that. Hopefully this doesn't involve <laughs> Alfred and Sigurd getting killed in the process. But still. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I think we had to at least give it a try. And then hope for the best. Uh, can they all reach me? No, they actually shouldn't be able to, because if the axe guy attacks me first, hopefully they'll like they'll get a break, and I won't be able to counterattack. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Although, you could come up here and help. Like, we could maybe take out... Uh, oh, excuse me? Oh, hand axe, here we go. We could maybe take out this guy? It's worth a shot. Okay, there we go. Thief is down. So that's good. And then we just got to bring you over and kind of hope for the best. Which I don't love, but... What? I mean, Vander is uh, relatively tough. He should be able to take a couple hits without too many troubles. Okay. That hurt, but we survived. And Vander should have one more turn of engage left, so I should be able to run out of their range and heal. At least that's what I'm hoping. You can come up here and pop this guy. For the divine dragon. That takes care of you. Um... Celica, I guess I'm going to send you here. You get a torch. It's something. Uh, might as, but we might as well collect the goodies, right? So we're going to move you over that way. We're going to move you over to here. We'll have you heal Etie so that she's not on death's door. And then... I really wish we could do more to this guy, but without a without a mage, 
That's going to be a little rough. Um, what's your range? How far can you move? One, two, three, four? Yeah, he can move four tiles. So we can go one, two, three, four. So actually, if you can come over here and kill this guy somehow... Man, uh, I don't know about that. That doesn't seem like a good plan. I think maybe we bring you up to here. And we just... Uh, go here, items... I'm just trying to think. Obviously, we don't want Alfred to die. Like, that's not acceptable. For obvious reasons. The problem is... Yeah, you know what? I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring you up to about here or so. I'm just going to have you use a Vulnery. Get some healing. And then we're going to have you fall back. Not to there, where you can get Hand Axe. But we'll have you fall back to here. And also use a Vulnery. Get some healing. And then... The only thing that should be able to happen here is this guy would be able to attack a uh, clan. And I don't think they'll be able to one-shot him. At least I'm hopeful of that. But just in case, we'll put a leer here as well. And then I guess... We might as well... No, because then you could also get attacked. Yeah, we'll put you here. And make sure you have the Iron Axe equipped. And yeah, that'll be it. And then I'll just bring you forward one. Totally fine. Totally fine. The big thing was we just didn't want you to kill anyone. So we're, we're good. So now you should be able to come down here and take out this guy super easily. Uh, let's actually use a Leer to take out this guy. I had to stop you. Piece of cake. Get some more good stuff there. Uh, let's bring you to here and heal Vander up a bit. This guy will be easy to take down because we already know we can do it using uh, Clan. Did you see that? So that takes care of you. Clan levels up to level four. Pretty good level up. Speed and magic are super important. So I'm happy about that. Uh, we're just going to bring Celine over that way. You should be able to take out one archer easily enough. And I'm going to use the javelin because then when he attacks me back, uh, I can chuck a javelin at him. So he can't attack me for free. Which is good. We'll put you here. Um, can move you to here, I guess. And then everyone else just kind of comes over this way. It's just a scratch. As your steward. And I guess you're left, so yeah. We'll put you here and give you a hand axe in case he decides to come after me instead. But he's probably going to go after Alfred, which is what I expected. Missed. But that's fine. We should be able to finish him off next turn. Okay, defense. It's something. Not a great level up, but still. All right. Can you finish this person off if I use the Iron Lance? Not quite. Okay, can anyone else get up there? You can come up here. Chuck a hand axe at him. Hopefully this will do the job. 
There we go. Is it over? So Boucheron to level five. Terrible level up. I mean, speed is good. Don't get me wrong, but I was hoping for a little bit more than that, honestly. Uh, let's get you to here so that my healer can heal you. My muscles say thanks. Very good. Celine come charging up this way. We'll just send the whole group moving over here. Now, the thing is, I don't know how we're actually supposed to open these. Because, like, there was a thief, but normally we would need a key or something like that, or a thief of our own. So, I don't know how that's supposed to work. Because none of our... we don't have any keys, and nobody... like, we weren't able to buy keys, I don't think. Like, if I come to here... Oh! I don't need keys. I can just open it. Oh, cool. Well, fantastic then. Never mind. That's a change from previous Fire Emblem games. So we'll get you charging up. Uh, you come to here. We're just gonna basically send everyone going up this way. So in that case, let's put you here. Get whatever's in this chest, an Armor Slayer. Okay, that's a sword that uh, deals extra damage to heavily armored units. So it basically allows sword wielders to do something to these knights and crazy powerful units. Uh, and then let's bring you to here and get this one as well. Obstruct. Some staves hinder enemies by stopping their movement or placing obstacles in their path. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what Obstruct does. So, uh, let's see. We'll just keep bringing everybody up. We're not in a hurry. We don't need to rush this. Like, doesn't appear like enemy reinforcements have shown up yet. We can just kind of take our time a little bit. Get everyone up here. Get everyone all healed up. All that kind of good stuff. No need to rush. Uh, you should still be safe if we put you, like, here. Uh, how much HP does this thing have? That I should check. Only 20. Okay, so we're going to bust through that in one hit. Which means we want to make sure that we are fully prepared before we do so. Um, okay. And we'll probably want to put Alfred and Sigurd and then Alir and Marth up on these to get our uh, engage recharged. So let's let's do this. Uh, you can't reach. Put you here. Swap you to there. That way you can come up here and steal or er, and heal Boucheron. Thank you. Get you back to full. You can come up here, and I will just take both of these. And we'll go convoy. I'll store that. I'll hold on to the armor slayer on a leer, I guess. Because you might as well. You can come over here. Get your uh, engage meter refilled. Move you to here. You we definitely want up front. Do they have mages? I don't see any mages over here. So that's good. So we don't need to worry about Louis then, because he'll be able to tank pretty much anything. I mean, his defense is 16. Vander's only at 10. So <laughs> he's uh, considerably stronger than even Vander when it comes to defensive ratings. So we're, we're good. Uh, all right, we'll move you down to here. That way you can heal Alfred. I'm back in action. Get you back up to a decent amount of HP. Get another level up. Not a great one, but it's still a level up. 
I would very much like to have you <laughs> refill that. Uh, who's actually still hurt? Celine is slightly hurt. Vander is slightly hurt. For the most part, it's pretty much just Alfred and then a Lear. So we're good. We're just going to kind of take our time here. We'll get your uh, engage meter all refilled. Uh, you drop another heal on Alfred here. Just keep working on it. More for experience. It's more It's more about experience than it is the actual healing. But still. And then we'll move you, you to, I don't anything. know, here, I guess. Get your, get you close. Uh, everything else should be fine. Bring you to here so that Fram can heal you. That helps. Beautiful. Okay. And then we'll say, uh, you know what? We can probably bust through at this point. We should be okay to bust that wall down. And they can come charging at me and see what happens. Oh, they do have a hand axe. That's a nuisance. Not the end of the world, but it's a nuisance. Okay, they're all coming. They're all coming pretty quick. Okay, uh, if you attack this guy with your Iron Lance, uh, this dude can do a whopping four damage to me, which is practically nothing. Okay, so let's see. Do they have any other ranged weapons here? No, no, no. Uh, you do have a hand axe, but you can't actually get to me because there's stuff in your way. You have a rider's bane, so that's important. Iron axe. Right. Yeah, so we should be fine if we want to take either clan or Selene to finish you off. Uh, excuse me? Okay. Maybe, I mean, thankfully you will not be able to be hit again, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't really anticipating that much damage coming in. It was okay. Um, so I guess we'll put you here. I should only be able to be attacked from one spot. So you should be fine. Uh, and we might as well engage, right? Emblem, engage. And then what I, I suppose what I could do is just chuck a javelin at you or something. And then fall back to here. Um, where is my healer? You're over here. So we'll put Vander here. That way you can come over here and heal. I thank you. Get Vander back up to a decent amount of health. Vander's uh, not in great shape as far as his stat. Vander's getting Shit to the point where he's not going to be super useful anymore, but that's okay. Um, equip a javelin. Thankfully, we're not in range of the archer just yet, so we don't need to worry about that currently. But we'll bring Selene up. And that'll do for now. The goal is basically that they can't attack all of us at once. My apologies. So we can essentially make them hit our our little wall of dudes here. Oh, that's unfortunate. So now they're bringing in reinforcements, which is somewhat problematic. Not the end of the world, but it's a little problematic. Um Archer guy can't get to me. So we're okay there. If I attack you with Rider's Bane, that's not going to do enough. If I move you to here... Like, you can just tank hits all day long. That's not enough to kill, unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
I mean, we got we got a lot of axes here, and then again, if we could get you to here, you could do <laughs> your crazy move where you hit all of these guys at once, which is pretty sweet. So maybe we chuck a javelin at you. That breaks you. And maybe did we just let him come at me for one more turn? Although one of these guys is a Rider's Bane, right? This one. This guy does. So that person is a problem. Because if they hit uh, Alfred, it's going to do a stupid amount of damage. So, bearing that in mind, we could bring you over... If I engage here, Please grant me your strength. I may regret this. Warp far away and attack. If I attack you with Seraphim. Oh, he's got chain guard from the stupid monk guy. I see. Okay. Um, that is a problem. Like, you're not a problem. This this guy's fine. This archer can't get to me. I mean, you can't fly over these pillars. So if I could just stick someone, like, right here. Like you, for example. They'd essentially have to go the long way around. This is not going to do any damage whatsoever, which is not great. But, yeah, there's got to be a way we can do this. Um, problem is... No, you know what? This should be fine. So here's what we'll do. We'll go... Uh, Iron Lance on... Or actually, Rider's Bane on you. You were a good fight. So that will take him out. And then we put you here, I believe which will give me an item it's not a great item but it is an item uh, then we've got this stupid this monk that's something I should have thought of what if I attack said monk dude with a javelin it's not going to do enough to kill not even close But it would break the uh, the chain guard thing. So let's chuck this at you. That'll get me some bond fragments. These guys will all be able to attack Louis, which is not great. But he does have stupid high defense. So hopefully it would work. Now, if we engage and we Seraphim you, that should take you out. So we'll do that. I will not forget your loss. Okay, that gets us the Rider's Bane, which is good. Um, you come up here and heal up clan thank you and then clan can you take out the archer not without getting smacked real hard oh and you've got a hand axe so that's also not good um okay let's move you to here I mean, you. I think. I feel like this is probably as good as our formation is gonna get, honestly. Like, I mean, I suppose we could come over here and you're still doing six damage, which is like pretty rough. So you would do ten. Plus, they'd prob you'd you'd probably double. So maybe we just wait with Vander there. Try something like this. Who's uh, left? Oh, Clan. Yeah, Clan can't do anything. 
Okay. So the big thing is, can they break through Louie? And I'm going to say probably not. Because Louie's a beast. Like, they might get the break. But he'll survive at least a turn. And if they want to line up in a nice big line... Then I can do some really nice damage with Alfred. Using his engage power to just charge through the whole line of enemies. So that would be great. And we've softened all of them up. So these guys should go down pretty quick. We're going to hopefully be able to kill them faster than they can, you know, do stuff to us. That seems like a terrible attack. Like, you're attacking twice, doing no damage, and then just getting killed in return. That just doesn't seem like a good plan. Okay. So. Let's see here. Unfortunately, none of them lined up super nice for me. That's a little unfortunate, but let's use you to take out Iron Bow Guy. This is the mission of the stewards. That takes you out. And then... Are there any more archers? There's this one. Unfortunately, you can't actually get to anything. Uh, you... What does Warp Ragnarok actually do? Warp far away and attack. Does that hit... Would that hit all of these guys? Like, if I do this, that should take all of them out, right? And also, do these... Do you guys move? They can. But they wouldn't be able to actually reach me. So... But yeah, let's try this Warp Ragnarok thing and just see how this goes. I think that's going to take out three, almost four guys. Oh, yeah, right? It hits all of them? My or just one? Just one. Okay, I very much misjudged what that does. So that's fine. We'll just go back uh, to here. Because we know now that that doesn't hit the whole area. It just hits one of those enemies. That's fine. That's what the warp crystal is for. Like, what's the point if you don't actually use it? So if we move you here, and we go override Rider's Bane, that will take out both of these guys. So that's lovely. And then we're going to plop you on top of the staircase so that if any more reinforcements spawn, uh, they can't actually do anything. Like, like, they won't be able to come up on a staircase if I have a unit sitting on top of it, which is great for me. Um... You should be able to come up here, engage. Lend me your strength. And I don't really want to use Lodestar Rush. But how much are we doing? 34 damage on a rapier attack? Oh no, I see. So 23, I would take 9. Let's just back out of that for a second. I really need this guy to die, too. So here's what I think we're gonna do. Let's... If I warp... Uh, or... Hold on. This is a little annoying. Like, I, I need this guy to go. And I need Louie to be standing some... I need Celica to be standing somewhere else so I can heal up Louie. Can you just, like... If I Seraphim you, that's not going to do a lot. I mean, I suppose I could also Seraphim you. That would take you out. That seems like such a waste, though. But... 
maybe we maybe it's one of those you got to do what you got to do situations I'm still or I could just move you up and let you take a hit wouldn't be the end of the world like I'd take a little damage in return but not a ton and then we could probably just move uh, I don't think any of these guys have ranged weapons except for the archer. So if I could take out the archer... Well, the archer's not going to be able to take out Fram in one hit, right? Right? Like, if I move here... Yeah, the only one that can hit me is the archer. So I should be able to just go heal, heal. I feel wonderful. Fram gets another level, and that's actually a pretty good one. Our strength still isn't great, but it's not awful. And then I think from here, we should be okay. Uh, what do you have? You have an Iron Lance? So if we move you to, like, here and go... Hand act or uh, iron, like you should be fine, and that should allow basically the rest of you to be relatively safe. We'll just wait. All right. Yep, you hit Fram, but that's fine. A little damage on Fram isn't a big deal. Just kind of trying to lure them into uh, our trap. You were a good fight. Takes care of you. That's a great level up from Alfred. Beautiful. This is what I trained. For. Riders Bane, anti cavalry. Oh, they're bosses. He's. You're not staying still. What do you have? You have a hand axe. Okay. So that presents a little bit of an issue, but not the end. It's not huge. Like, we're not in huge trouble here. So first of all, you take out this guy. For the divine dragon. Because you're not doing anything else that's particularly useful. Um, you do have Rider's Bane. I've taken some hits. You should be able to finish off I mean, that's 70s. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Please hit. Thank you. I hope you find peace. So that takes care of that one. Um, now, if I move you to here, we engage. Emblem engage. And we do a lodestar rush on the boss because we want to kill the boss on this turn. Like, that basically needs to happen. So this will do a ton of damage to the boss without the ability for I them to reply. No mercy. Or attack back. Ooh, a... Fate has brought us here. There we go. It's great damage. This one's a tough opponent. Oh, he has a Revival Stone? Oh, that would have been good to know. Okay, uh, so here's what we're going to do. Can you finish off this guy? Yes. He does have a Revival Stone, so he'll be able to essentially get a second hit bar, which is not great. But it's... Okay. Those shiny. Was that sufficient? So he's gonna go down once. He'll have a revival stone, so he'll come back. Okay, level up there from Louis. And now he's essentially back to full health, which is obviously a problem. Um, but and the hand axe is also a significant issue. 
because he can he can't like one shot all my characters but he can do a lot to most of them so you can hit for a lot of damage so what we may need to do here we'll get through this let's bring you up to here we'll have you uh attack this bow user just for a little experience <laughs> And then have you stand here, get a free item. I'm not going to worry about these two yellow ones. We'll go Warp Ragnarok. Attacking you again. Looky here. I am not running this time. It will be you who flees for your life. <laughs> and essentially what's going to happen is... We'll have to, we'll be able to finish this guy off and that will end the battle because we don't actually need to kill all the enemies, just these ones. So can you do the job? Yes, and you can do it with 100% accuracy. So, bearing that in mind, if I can finish off these other guys, 94% chance, yeah, I'll roll the dice on that. Simple enough. So we'll just try and clean up the other two enemies uh, for a little bit of extra experience if we can, but it I looks like that's tired. not really going to happen. So we'll just heal you. I'm back in action. Very good. And then you, Etia, are going to come up here and finish the job, and that should complete the mission. There we go. We have done it. And we get a Seraph Robe for it, which is a, an item that will allow us to increase max HP on a character. That was a pretty tough fight. I think I had to attempt that one three or four times. Kept uh, running into troubles uh, trying to get the thief early on. But we made it work. Alfred, Mother is in the back room. She's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. My children, you're safe. What a relief. You're very we have welcome. A guest, Mother. Someone came all the way from Lethos to see you. The Divine Dragon? Queen Ev, it's an honor to meet you. I'm so glad that you're all right. I've come here by invitation of Prince Alfred. Just look at you, awake at long last. I am Ev, the Queen of Firene. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you. The Divine Dragon has come to help our country, Mother. We were just in time to rescue Saline. And get this, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from our ring. A legendary emblem. Oh my, how extraordinary. Thank you sincerely. You have my deepest gratitude. My family is safe because of you. Oh, you know, just doing my job. You are blessed with the same powers as your mother. How is Queen Lumera? Well, she's... she's gone. My mother passed away. No! That's awful. I'm so sorry. Some intruders entered the castle. They tried to kill me, but she gave her life to protect mine. Oh... How tragic. I'm glad that... that I could spare your children the pain of losing their mother. <sighs> My heart goes out to you. Forgive me. We've only just met, and here I am, laying my grief at your feet. I just wish I could have saved her too. I mean, she did ask how my mother was. Divine One, while I cannot take away your sorrow, perhaps I can help you bear it. reunite with her and then lose her so soon. I can only imagine how painful that was. For now, allow yourself to grieve, knowing that I grieve with you. Thank you, Queen Ev. Your warmth, your kindness. It's almost like she's here with me. Adopted mom? I guess. Sort of. How are you feeling? Better. 
I'm sorry you had to see me like that. No, we shouldn't have dragged you into all this... right now. I'm sorry, Divine One. As am I. But if I hadn't left when I did, what might have happened to you, Saline? Or you, Queen Ev? I'm proud to serve people in need, like my mother did. Thank you. Now, the Illusion leader. She said her kingdom released the Fell Dragon. I take it that's why the Corrupted are appearing in Elios again. Now there's no question that the Fell Dragon's after the rings, which means we need to hurry. Head them off before they can reach the next one. Queen Ev, your country's ring. May I take it? Of course. The Kingdom of Firenae gives it with love, trust, and gratitude. Thank you very much. There is something you should know, however. My kingdom has another emblem ring in its possession. Oh, that is good to know. What? Since when? There is another ring? Here in Firenae? It was kept secret to avoid conflict. For generations, knowledge of this ring has been confined to the monarchs of Firenae. However, now that the Fell Dragon has arisen, it is best to dispel the Shroud of Secrecy. It is commonly thought that the Divine Dragon gave one ring to each country's leader. However, Firenae received a second. The Ring of the Dawn Maiden. I see. To ensure that no one would find it, the ring was hidden away far from the castle. It rests in a shrine on the Brodian border. Oh, I remember those old ruins. What? You do? Yeah. Mother took me there after father died. She told me to keep the location in mind. At the time, I didn't know why. Well, now you do. Now it makes sense. I was preparing you for the day you became king. I'll take everyone to the shrine. From there, I can continue on with the Divine Dragon. So, you are leaving, Alfred? Yes. I want to do my part to end this war. With your blessing, Mother, I'm going to help the Divine Dragon bring peace to Elios. Mother? I would like to join as well. Alfred. You have my blessing. I know you will serve the Divine Dragon with honor. On one condition. Swear to me that you will come back alive. You shouldn't make promises that you can't control if you're able to keep them. I swear it. I swear it. Thank you very much, Queen Ev. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to try and get him killed or anything like that, but like... Never been a fan of, I swear I will do something that is completely beyond my control. I trust that you will take some time to rest prior to your departure. The journey ahead will be arduous, but know that you are all in my prayers. May good fortune shine upon you. All right, another 10,000 in gold. That's good. Use all the money we can get. Now we get to look at the battlefield, and I'm actually a little curious. This is the battlefield, supposedly. But it doesn't... This one actually doesn't really look like the uh, the battlefield that we fought on, I don't think. It's like a little, uh, it's a little more open. Because I don't see, like, the throne room and stuff. Unless uh, this would have been the door. Maybe that's what this is supposed to be. Maybe this, uh, this big doorway here would have been the door that we were supposed to break down. But anyway, I'm going to gather all the items, talk to all the people. You know how it goes. So I think what we've learned is that the on the mini-map, the blue dots that don't have speech bubbles will give you something more than just a little conversation. Or maybe yes. not. Okay, well, we got 50 bond fragments from here. Maybe it was because those two were together. Yes. Yeah, I see. Okay, so yeah, talking with the blue dots that don't have speech bubbles. Thanks. Is the uh, the way to go if you're looking for items and stuff. Like talking with someone over here should give me bond fragments or something along those lines. All right, my friends, and I think that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.